Hi, welcome to the Toe Channel. My name is Don Archer. I'll be your host. Today we're going to be talking about dollies. It's 7 a.m. and morning traffic is in full swing. You're called to change a tire at one of the busiest intersections in the city. Thousands of people on their way to work, crossing paths, heading in all directions, sipping coffee, and checking their email as they speed by you roadside. It's a front wheel drive with a rear driver's side flat. Of course, it has to be on the driver's side. Self-preservation screams drive the damn thing on the flat to a safe location. But the possibility of damaging the wheel or worse brings you back to reality. Okay, so we're going to change this thing right here. Two inches from sure death by well, passing motors. I've got to get to work. Just tow it. Your customer has a ride waiting and needs to go. Adios, she says. Just tow it. This car, this car. The phrase echoes in your head as the customer and her ride merge into traffic and speed away. Hey, call her flatbed. They'll never know. <laughs> you can't do that. This is your job. They're all busy. Anyway. <laughs> Who cares if they're busy? Call her flatbed. Just put it in the neutral and pull from the rear. What about the transmission? And how is he going to get turned around in this traffic anyway, genius? Dali! You gotta suck it up and throw dollies. But isn't it impossible to get a completely flat tire properly positioned on your dolly bars? If not done properly, you will drag the flat tire, damaging it beyond repair. Even worse, your dollies might come off and go into traffic, which could cause an accident. It can be difficult to squeeze the tire tight enough to have the wheel sit high between the dolly bars. We use two different methods to overcome this difficulty. Like playing a game of pool, you must set yourself up first. You'll want to have the front wheels in the wheel lift and up off the ground slightly so you can move the car forward and backward. Start out with the front dolly bar on the side with the flat and extend the stinger out far enough so that you can have some wiggle room. Secure the front dolly bar in the dolly slot that you want to be in. Make sure it's tight enough so that the tire will not drag. Be sure that the other side is not in any slots. Pull the car forward with the stinger so that the flat tire rests or balances entirely on that dolly bar. Then place the rear dolly bar in the corresponding slot on the dolly. Adjust the dolly bar on the other side to match the first side in the rear. Push the car back with the stinger and allow the flat to rest on the rear dolly bar this time and place the front dolly bar on the non-flat side into the correct dolly slot. Test it. Raise both dollies and check for clearance. We've got about three or four inches of daylight down there after we've rolled it on top of that front dolly bar. We'll be able to get middle slot and middle slot. Same way with this side. Middle and middle, it's not V and out, it's straight across. Less than ideal road conditions can cause problems as the dolly bar may slide, pulling the dolly with it. If that happens, you can use a floor jack to raise it and move the dolly bars inward. Okay, you can also use a jack so that you can get that wheel up off the ground and then slide your dolly bar in a little bit further. It's a little bit scary sometimes. You can even go in one more on these, I bet you. There you have it. Now a word from our newest sponsor, Over the Edge. Here's Jason to tell you about a new recovery solution from In The Hole Production. where we test the latest towing and recovery tools and systems available today. Hi, I'm Jason Lofman, and this week we look at the newest chain substitute in the towing industry, the Slinky. Yeah, it looks like a toy, but this next generation tool developed and produced by In The Hole Productions is made with a biometrical multi-elastic polymer blended synthetic isotrope that allows the user to recover anything from a moped to a Mack truck. Watch this. Today we're performing a beta test out in the field where we secretly replaced all of Mike's chains with this new towing recovery product, Slinkies. He's just arrived at the scene of an accident with a car 
75 feet down the embankment. Let's watch and see what happens. Oh, what you gonna do now, Mike? <laughs> Wait a minute, Mike. Those aren't just toys. They're the newest tool in towing and recovery. You don't get to do that. Oh, the kick up. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Well, there you have it. Towers prefer chains. Who knew? Thanks for watching Over the Edge. Tune in next time when we replace Mike's aluminum dolly bars with new and improved stretch Armstrong dolly bars. It's going to be exciting. What? Ah! <laughs>